What's up? This is Square2448 with a Farming Simulator 17 video, and today we'll be building a large driveway with some new equipment. And today we'll be using the roller, which is a compactor. It's going to compact the asphalt. We will be using the cam skids here, the tri axle load trail trailer, and the T800. And at the job site, we do have a Massey Ferguson, which we did rent from the local farmer, and we do have our old GMC truck there. So we'll kind of back up to this trailer and load up. We haven't been doing much driveway building videos lately. We've been doing a lot of different types of videos, like building a beach, building a carport, and also building some walkways. So we've been doing a lot of cool things, but not too much driveways. So it's going to be nice getting back into doing some of these. And now we'll be backing this roller on to kind of make sure we do not damage the fenders of this trailer. So we'll hop in the cams, which looks very similar to the Bobcat skids here, and we'll load up. Now, there will be a lot of weight towards the back of this trailer, but I don't think that's going to be causing too much problems because we do have a truckload full of asphalt, but maybe if the truck was empty, we might have like the uh, back of the tires getting a little bit less weight or something like that. But we do have the locking script on this trailer. Very cool feature and I'm very excited for that because this roller will kind of try to shift the trailer. So once we kind of back this on, we have to go hop in the truck and lock the load. Kind of prevent it from shifting around. Awesome. So this looks like it is good how it is. Well... Uh, kind of leave it like that and you guys can see it is kind of shifting it. We'll hop in this We'll uh, lock it and we will also put the ramps up. So that is one heavy load But we'll head over now into the town and we'll be building the driveway for a brand new house Which just got built And since our shop is at the uh, home here. It is pretty nice. We don't really have to drive to our shop. We just walk right outside and there we are at our house. But look at this setup guys. I mean this uh, utility trailer which is a triaxle really does kind of help speed everything up with our transporting because it is very long. And you guys can see in the back of this uh, T800 Kenworth uh, dump truck we do have a lot, a lot of asphalt which is going to be good. We'll come to a stop here, make sure the traffic is clear, and it looks like it is, and we do have to take a pretty wide turn, and I'm guessing that this trailer is just around like 30 feet long, it's a pretty long trailer compared to the enclosed ones, maybe even like a 35 foot trailer, and if you guys have any feedback for me, let me know down below in the comments, I'm always open to feedback and ways to make all of my videos even more realistic, and if you do have any ideas for any videos, let me know. And if you guys haven't already, I do recommend you follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I do post live updates, especially pretty cool sneak peek photos to awesome videos later in the week. So here we go, guys. You guys can see the house over here. It's a giant house. And the, lar the yard looks very nice because it's a brand new uh, sod job, if you would say, with the rolling out of the grass. And I think we will pretty much, I'm thinking... We'll put this trailer here on this kind of side road, if you would say. It's not really a main road, and that's going to be good. So we will lower that down, and we'll also unlock this. And I think just to kind of make it easier, we'll just pull everything off the trailer, because we do have to disconnect it to kind of dump the asphalt also. And it looks like we have the locking script on, so sometimes this might... Oh, there it goes. It, you guys can actually see sometimes when it does unlock and everything like that. So we'll just kind of pull this forward. I would say just about to here, just enough. And we'll probably be holding up some traffic. Start up the cams and back this off. Awesome, so we got that all backed off. We will kind of disconnect this. And I think we'll pull this truck kind of to the front. We'll turn our hazard lights and the LEDs on. And I think we'll kind of park this right uh, in front of the Massey Ferguson for now. Awesome, so we got this right here. We'll turn it off, and this will be one giant large driveway. I mean, guys, this is going to be probably one of the largest ones we've done yet. So I think we'll kind of get started 
there looks to be no traffic, so we'll kind of pull out. We'll lower this down, and this is almost acts as like a forestry like stump grinder, but it does the trick, and it almost looks like a rotary, something that would kind of remove this. So we'll kind of actually, we do have to lift this piece up because we want to get as close as we can to the garage doors. And we do also have to kind of watch the clearance on the house because, I mean, this is a very large, large cultivator that we have attached. And I would like to thank you all for the continued support on my daily content. I'm very excited. Summer is here and it's going to be a lot of fun. I think we'll be doing maybe even an extra live stream each uh, week. So let me know your thoughts. Should we do more live streams? And also guys, if you do have any ideas for the multiplayer live streams, let me know. So I'm actually thinking for this one, like I was saying, it's going to be a large driveway. So we'll kind of have it go out kind of for like a trailer or even RV parking. Now I'm actually thinking we'll kind of pull forward here and let's see, can we disconnect the front? I think we're just going to kind of leave that there because I do want to get up close to this building as close as we can to kind of remove any grass. There we go, that is a little close as you guys can see. But it looks like we just kind of have to back up. Wow, that is awesome. We got pretty close, leaving not much grass behind. And we'll kind of, whoa, we are kind of driving into that now. But we'll kind of back in. And I think that's going to be it for this little section. We'll kind of raise this up, keep it running. Actually, we'll turn it off. And let's kind of back up and see if we could get in front of this garage door a little better. Yeah, so it looks like we kind of got as close as we possibly can. So we'll pull out here, and we will be attaching to this cultivator. And let me know, guys, should we start a farming series on the channel? I think it would be pretty cool to do a few farming videos a week, especially with some cool John Deere's or maybe even, like, this Massey Ferguson pack. I mean, this tractor looks awesome. So we'll lower this down. Awesome. So we'll kind of back this up here. And this cultivator, you actually do have to turn on... You guys can see that there's a lot of blades down there kind of moving around and I haven't really seen a cultivator like this before where you do have to kind of turn it on and everything like that so that's pretty cool we're using some brand new equipment which also kind of changes all these up and makes it even that much more interesting but as you kind of back up it also removes all the tire tracks which is pretty cool if you do not want to see any but we got the majority of this done we just kind of have to get that little piece in right in front and right next to this driveway so we'll back up here awesome so we did a good job there we'll just kind of get along here awesome so we did it we'll turn this off and I'm actually thinking that we'll probably back this up looks like there's no cars which is nice and we'll park this in front of the trailer preventing anybody from potentially kind of taking the trailer stealing it and I, we do have to kind of park it up on the curb because of the very large cultivator awesome so we got that done and next up we will hop in the t800 we'll run over to it and i mean this truck is full of asphalt which will be nice we'll back up here and we'll start to dump it and then we'll kind of make sure it is all spread out before we hop on the roller Awesome, so we kind of got it backed in here. So as we dump it, I will actually be driving forward, trying to go as kind of realistically as I can, kind of dumping it. But take a look at that. I mean, guys, this is a very fast and easy process, which is nice because, I mean, it's going to be awesome. So we'll kind of dump this and pull forward. Now, take a look at that, guys. We completely emptied this uh, Kenworth truck, which means that we used up a lot of asphalt today. So we'll, we'll kind of leave this here. The uh, dump bed will kind of go back down, 
and wow there's a lot of bumps and everything like that so i'm thinking we're gonna hop in the skids here and we'll just kind of drive over the lawn it shouldn't really damage it too much actually we could probably drive along the sidewalk making sure we are out of the street without not really compacting the grass we'll turn the hazard lights on on this and we'll kind of come over here and this really does need a beacon light i think that'll be awesome so Actually, I think before we kind of do this, we'll actually probably level it out if we do drive on. And we'll leave this right here. We'll get the roller. And for this one, we'll cut it through right to there. We'll hop on this. And this is actually made for silage. So I believe it should work the same exact way that it kind of does for this. So we'll kind of start. Yeah, you guys can see it is rolling it out and really spreading all this asphalt out so we do have to kind of go and clean up a lot of this but like I was saying guys this is one of the first times we are taking a roller out by all of you requesting it we usually don't take one of these, these out because it does take a lot of work to kind of transport it and you do need a very heavy truck but so far we are doing a great job with this so we'll keep that running we'll hop in the skid steer and we do have to clean up a lot of these edges and I think with the extra ones we'll kind of fill in the holes before we kind of dump another truck load. So take a look at that we did kind of fix it and actually there is some way over here so I I think the bucket is full but let's see yeah it looks like the bucket is full we'll kind of bring it over here and wow this thing looks good pretty uh, good so far so we'll kind of come a little too fast uh, kind of entering this area but we'll kind of dump it and just kind of spread it out awesome so we kind of got that dump we'll back up here and we'll kind of go along and clean up the edge once more and this is one bouncy skid steer. I think it's also because of the problems with uh, kind of bouncing around and everything like that. So we'll kind of come over here, clean up all this out of the grass. And we just did a little too much. So we do have to dump a little back. And if you guys do have any cool building ideas for me, let me know down below in the comments. I'm always interested into doing these cool videos. And I do appreciate all of your support because I really do enjoy playing this game, especially showing you guys and sharing my content with all of you. That's a lot of fun. So it looks like we kind of got this pretty much done, which is good. So that's going to be it, guys. We did a job well done. This came out really nice. Pretty large driveway. One of the largest ones we've done for a very large house so I hope you guys enjoyed if you do have any cool ideas for me let me know thanks for watching and subscribe for more